Go Before on. Before we get into the yeah. Nazi Garang world, where yeah. in the world, Nazi Garang world, um, mm -hmm. James emailed in earlier on, we didn't get to this question. Uh, what should I cook my in-laws this bank holiday? I'm having the in-laws over for a bank holiday weekend at the Jubilee. Uh, I need a delicious dinner recipe that's a bit different. What okay. do you suggest? I'm going to suggest... Nasi goreng, funnily enough, because <laughs> I'm cooking it right now. But honestly, there is a truth as well. Because when your in-laws are coming over, into this when, you, <laughs> yes. when your in-laws are coming over, you want to show off a little bit, don't you? And this food yeah. is all about the flavour. This is proper Southeast Asian street food. So if you went out to the Hawker markets, you'd see trucks in the street that'd be selling this dish. And it's yeah. basically a fried rice with a sweet soy, a tiny bit of chili through, loads of white pepper, and you can put whatever you want in. So whatever you're going to cook between now and that Sunday save some of the protein because you will use it. Right, hot wok. We've got a hot wok. We call this wok hay in Asia, which is basically where it starts smoking. If you can just see that smoke, because we're making fried rice, you almost want the smoke in the rice. But we're going to go straight in, chopped onions. I've got some oil in my wok. And I'm also, at the mm. same time, going to put in one red chilli. If you don't like heat, don't turn up the fire. Just don't put in... in, in I can't even understand that. Just don't do it. I'm in re one of those moods today where I forget I'm at work. I feel like I'm at home with you lot. Oh, then, nice. I've got some chopped garlic. I've got two cloves here because I'm cooking for you. If it was me, I'd double that. Really? I love garlic. Four I love, cloves? I put four cloves in wow. for me. Right, so you've got your onion, your chilli and your garlic. Now, with wok hay, oh, you want to keep that smoking all the way through. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the proteins now. So I'm going to put anchovies in at the bottom of my dish. Oh, really easy you. way of flavouring up a dish. If we were in Malaysia right now, we'd be using blachan, which is made out of krill, which is a tiny little fish, and it's so strong. And, in fact, I cooked it once in, uh, in the UK, and I had to change my curtains and my cushions because it was so stinky. Really? Yeah. Is it like so, a, like, almost like powder? Tight, well, you crush it up, make it dry, crush it up, and it makes the most intense fish flavour. But you couldn't get it out of your curtain. No, it was so strong. Wow. So now I'm going to add in, I'm going to put three fillets in, because I like it, and that's going to mash down. You don't need to cut it up. That is going to completely dissolve itself all the way through. Doc, can I ask you advice on this? How yeah. do you make sure that, you, that the, your base there and your garlic and stuff doesn't burn? Yeah, moving it around the whole Just time. Always. And also as well, it's called wok maintenance. So you, at the centre of the wok is your most heated part. Yeah. On the outside, which is why I'm pushing it to the outside, that's where it's slightly cooler. So gotcha. it's going to burn in the centre. Right, we're going to whack in our fish. You know, I'm not serving this to anyone, which is why I'm using my fingers. I'm going to have this for my lunch. And you're going to cook your prawns now. Now, I've got here some cooked chicken. So you can use anything left over from a Sunday roast, whatever you That's want at idea, all. Isn't it? All of those use proteins. Your leg if it I was going to use uh, raw chicken, I would be adding that in now. Mm -hmm. I'd want it to cook all the way through. This is cooked roasted chicken. Oh, that will go in. Uh, a little bit later on, once those prawns are done. And you're looking for those prawns to go pink now. As you can see, can we have got a top cam? Just there. Wonderful. As you can see, the prawns are starting to go. Once those prawns are gone, I'm going to add in my chicken. Yeah. And then I'm going to add in one, two, three, four chunks of tomatoes. Believe it or not, stir-fried tomatoes and rice are so... Delicious. Yeah. Does the tomato so break gorgeous. down? Because I yeah. don't see it in there. You've got a couple of pieces in there, no? Did I not put oh, any yeah, in? Oh, no, no, no. The, the, yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. It's, they, oh, yeah, there's mine. Yeah. yeah. So, OK, so now we're going to go in with our spring onions, chopped up. And basically, the way I look at fried rice, it's a bit like an Asian sandwich. The bread is the rice. Yeah. yeah. And you can fill it whatever you want to do. And it's all down to the flavours. And the reason this is a different fried rice is because we've got a sweet soy called Key Cat Manet coming in. You can get it from all Asian supermarkets. Uh, you can even get it from some Western supermarkets. If you can't find it, don't worry. Just basically boil down some light soy with some sugar into a nice sticky syrup. And that's all it is. Sugar and soy. So, sugar and soy. OK, so this is the most important part now, yeah, with fried rice. And a lot of people go nuts here. You have to cook your egg first. Whatever you do, do not put your rice in and then add your egg. It's yeah, going to turn I've into a rice omelette. Yeah. So what you do is you then move all the stuff to the outside of the wok. Are we getting that top cam? Yep. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start moving this around and you almost want little fragments of egg, which is yeah. exactly how you get your egg fried rice. So, if you're, doing, so if you're just doing egg fried rice, you would you'd do the egg first yeah. and then put the rice Fry in. Fry your onions, put your peas in, then put your eggs in, then put your rice in. So once that starts cooking, we can start moving that around now because it's solid. As you can see here, that's all now independent in our wok. Oh, wow. All those flavours are in. Yeah. We're now going to whack in some fish sauce, a little bit more fish, because I want to flavour all that through. 
And then we're now going to add our cooked rice. Now, this is really important, lovely viewers at home. This rice was cooked yesterday. You've got to cook it and then you've got to let it go room temperature, it's cold, and then you've got to put it in the fridge straight away. Then you, if you're going to cook it the next day, which is what we are doing, only cook it once, only heat it up once. So you can reheat rice? You can reheat rice, but you you've got have to do it that way. Yeah. Now, the rice has gone in. Stir fry it through, and what we're going to do is we want the wok hay. Can you see that smoke? Yes. That is going to give it a really nice kind of almost barbecue smoke flavour. Yeah. Which is what makes it feel like it's fried rice. Wow. Once that's cooked through, we're now going to add in our wet products. Now we've got light and dark soy, light for sh uh, salt, dark soy for colour. So that oh, is our. This is delicious. Is it good? Wonderful. Light soy. Really nice. We've now got in our dark soy, and this is what gives it a signature colour. We're now going to pop in Key Cat Monet. I love that stuff. Which is so delicious. And now I'm using it quite heavy because I'm about to put in so much white pepper. This is my lunch. I'm making this to my version. I love white pepper. It's great. It is electric. It yeah. gives you a really nice... Like, look how much pepper wow. I'm putting in. Oh, my goodness! So That's a lot, gone. This is mine. But I love wow. the sweetness from the soy with the pepperiness of... The our, pepper. our director in our ears is saying, can you keep oh, some going back crazy. for him? <laughs> it looks so gorgeous. Now, what you want to do is now have a moment. What? Just relax. Wow. Because you've got so many wets in there right now. This is still fried rice. You want that wet to now start evaporating. Keep the intense flavour in from yeah. the salt and the sugar. I'm, I'm flirting with you. Did you see that, Alison? Yeah, I, I was I know. really flirting with you I with soy sauce. I was feeling it, though. I was feeling it. <laughs> How when did it he comes, do it? When it comes <laughs> to food, I will flirt with you. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? You so... want to get the dryness happening? <laughs> you, want, you want the dryness happening. OK, so whilst that's now drying through, this is how we're going to serve it up. So I've done here rice wine vinegar with some sugar and some chilli. And just yeah. put a little bit of that on your rice now. It completely... Not too oh, much. Oh, I haven't tried any of this. Not too much. It changes the flavour. It's electric. I've got some cucumber, I've got some limes, some oh, spring let's onions. Oh, with that, honey. These are shop-bought fried wow. uh, shallots. And then I'm going to put some more of this on. So I'm going to start dressing Isn't this it? plate up. How long have I got? OK, right, here we go. That so. elevated that to another level. Isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? OK, so what yeah. we do now is we load up our bowl... Wow. And then... Oh, I like the way you put it in a bowl. Is this we are going to turn... So, normally, I would let this sit for about two minutes so it doesn't collapse. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Well oh. done, God. Then we oh, are going to add so in... nice. Turn God, that off. Is, is this... In Asia, is this, would this be a, a dish you would eat any breakfast. time of day breakfast? This is a breakfast, yeah. This so is in a breakfast? Asia, yeah, so in Asia, a fried egg on top... Wow. Which is just delicious. Uh, in Asia... It's the same as having cereal, though, isn't it? Right, I'm going to do this quickly and we'll get sold That'll off. That'll keep you going all day, So, we've got it? some... Shallots, some cucumber, oh, some delicious. tomatoes, some lime, some spring onions. Then sriracha, if you want more spice, on top. Some key cat manet, and that the old key cat. for me is one of the greatest key dishes that you will ever cook on your kitchen because it is full of flavour. It's not poncy, <laughs> and it is so delicious. looks so nice. Look Thank you so Ooh, much, God. That is three, two, one, all the ingredients. Look at him having that. All the ingredients for all those on the app. Details. Yes, it is. It's all on the app for you with our amazing chefs. Uh -huh.